You know, reading is just a different way to experience an entire story of characters in a universe, although it's just written in a different format. Like, an entire story can be written in a movie, and an entire movie can be written in a story. I feel like I could have been able to enjoy reading a lot more if school didn't pressure me so much into doing so. I've just now realized how much reading school pushes you to do, and frankly, it's made me hate reading. Of course, I have no offense to the people who enjoy reading, I just haven't got the right motivation to do it. As a kid, I was quite advanced for my age. I was able to read full sentences and books quite fluently. However, on the other hand, being able to understand what I read is a different story. I just hated reading back then because I couldn't comprehend what I read and I would have to repeat myself. It was awful, and it was boring. This is why I preferred those short, easy books with pictures in them. And I'm paying all my attention to the Robert Munch and Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. Those are the only books that I actually enjoyed. In elementary school, our class would frequently go to the library to get a new book to read. I, however, picked up the same books every time. But every time I tried to be different for once, my dad forced me to read in front of him every night. I remember one time I was reading in front of him, and then he just fell asleep. So little me just left him. Greatest escape ever. Again, the only reason why I liked those books only was because they were easy to read and had pictures. Back then, I could not handle novels with only text and words being spewed throughout all of the pages. It was way too overwhelming for me. The biggest problem I dealt with regarding these novels was that the school would only make us read these books as a class. You know how in English class there's a book that the entire class will read and analyze together? Yeah, only novels could be permitted in a situation like that. I guess it wouldn't make more sense because there's a lot more to cover, but I still hate it because now I'm being forced to read it, and I'm an awful reader. At least, back then I was. One of the books that the class had to read, I was so behind on the story because I never understood a word. So what happened? My dad got mad at me, so he had to read the entire story himself so he could help me with my assignment. I'll admit, that's some serious dedication on my dad's end. I could have never done that. I've noticed how much school tries so hard to make a mundane thing exciting, and they've definitely done it for reading. I don't know about you guys, but my school had a reading competition called Battle of the Books. Everyone in the last two grades of elementary had to do this, meaning I had to do it twice. And it was only fun the second time, mainly because my team did not care about winning whatsoever. So. How does Battle of the Books work? Well, the classes get put into small groups and there are approximately 10 books in each group. Keep in mind that every group gets the same books. Throughout a small period, every group would have to read all of the books. And at the end, each group gets tested with questions. They have to figure out which book is the answer. For example, a question could be something like, which book involved the main characters going camping one night? The groups would have to figure out which book it was, based on the knowledge of the books that they all read. Every correct answer is one point, and whichever team gets the most points, wins. Now the first time I did this was absolutely embarrassing because my team lost very badly, and my team would get really mad at me if the answer was the book that I read, and I felt really bad. Sure, my team sucked, but it's not that I cared about winning, I just don't like being given the blame because it makes me really ashamed of myself. However, the second time I did this was a lot more fun because, for one thing, I was grouped with people that I liked being around, and also, my team just wanted to have fun with it. Although my team actually did better than last time, I guess the less you care, the better you do. How my team was able to make the game a lot more fun was to just exaggerate a lot. Every time we prepare for a question, we chant and make a prayer to the book gods. I'm not sure what we were doing back then, but we were definitely the original ones to create the chants, because other teams started creating their own after seeing ours. So that was fun. Most fun I've ever had while being in a competition. Either way, it still doesn't excite me enough to read books. Throughout my reading experience during high school, it was interesting. We once read Lord of the Flies by William Golding about a bunch of kids stranded on an island, trying to survive like it's every man for themselves. I need to say that I hate the brutality of the story. You know, I'm not a fan of painfully cruel and sadistic topics such as gore or blood. It's not just that I don't like it, but depending on how graphic and descriptive it could get, the more disgusted I am. I don't want to go into the details, but yeah, it's a very graphic novel. When I mean graphic novel, I don't mean the ones with pictures in them. I just don't like how brutal the story is, especially during the scenes where two of the characters get murdered painfully. Ugh, let's move on. Another story that high school made me read was Indian Horse by Richard Wagamies, about an indigenous boy going through residential school and trying to feel enjoyment by playing hockey. Okay, I'll admit, I really enjoyed this story. I never thought that a boy playing hockey would be entertaining for me. I thought that the plot was very intriguing, although there are also a handful of sensitive and offensive topics in it, such as sexual abuse, racism, and a slight bit of gore. Besides those topics, I enjoyed reading the story, mainly because I got to read it at my own pace in a silent room. Now that is how I can enjoy reading. Looking back, why the hell did the school make us read stories regarding these topics? It's a bit much. 
Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Either way, I want to erase those awful parts of the story and think of it overall, because the plot is pretty interesting, but its descriptions can get a bit odd. But have I wanted to read books since then? No, especially after that time I had to read a book over the summer. It wasn't even a good book. It was boring and really confusing. It makes me not want to read another book again. Except for the Robert Munch and Wimpy Kid books, because those are the exceptions.